The year was 1988. I was only seven years old watching a TV show called Video Soul on BET. The show was hosted by Donnie Simpson and he would debut a song that would change my life forever. That song was called Groove Me by a group called Guy, which had New York native music producer and national treasure who goes by the name of Teddy Riley in that group. It goes without saying, New Jersey native Bernard Bell, rest in power my brother, had a huge impact on this sound too. I immediately knew this vibe was monumental and the sound that I'm talking about was coined New Jack Swing. If you're wondering, the term New Jack Swing was indeed synonymous of a movie called New Jack City. The idea came from a conversation that Teddy Riley had with producers around that film. The New Jack Swing sound, what is New Jack Swing? New Jack Swing, first of all, it was a name that was given to me and I always have to give credit to Barry Michael Cooper who actually gave me the name because I didn't have a name for it. And it was just this music that was just, you know, transcending and people were just catching on to it. And then you had record companies that didn't really give you a deal if you had, if you didn't have that sound. So we had to call it something right away because uh, New Jack City was coming out. And I can remember sitting with uh, Barry Michael Cooper and he was interviewing me. He said, what are you gonna call this? And I said, I don't know. I never knew what my music was called or what I would call it until he gave me that name. And he said, New Jack Swing, I'm doing New Jack City and you are the New Jack Swinger. You're the new kid on the block that's swinging it. So I always thought of it as the new kid on the block that's swinging it until I took it into another direction of making it, it's a technology of music, which is putting rap and singing together and taking fusions of different music and fusing them all together. Like many areas of music, New Jack Swing came with its own sense of style of fashion and different dances. And boy, we did some dances. Successfully merging hip hop culture, dance culture, and R&B into one style, the song Groove Me had a swing like none other, hence the term New Jack Swing. That's indicative of the swing feature on drum machines and drum samplers, like the one that I'm using in this video called the MPC. The song Groove Me featured a sample from the Mohawks, the champ that had an upbeat organ sound, and a famous Vox from James Brown, Funky President, and some of the hardest drums that I've ever heard in my entire life. No cap. Mm. The sound will be patented and used by many other songs like Christopher Williams' I'm Dreaming, BBD Poison, Michael Jackson a la The Dangerous album, which by the way, Bernard and Teddy Riley was involved with that album, and many different artists during the 90s R&B era. So how can we capture the vibe of that era? Well, allow me to show you. The MPC expansion New Jack Throwback has a myriad of those exact same drums from that era. And here they are. Followed up by the patented bass sound. Those nice pads. And even that lead. You'll find that the suspension has everything that you need. Yeah, let's get it. So the BPM we're gonna use is about 111. You can go about 108 and you can see that it has 108 as far as the BPM or tempo. The next thing you need to do is make sure that you go to your timing correct feature on your drum sampler of choice on the MPC Live X1, Key 61, etc. You have this time correct button or better known as quantize. We'll turn it on. We'll make sure that that swing, which is the main thing that we want to focus on, is at a good swing parameter outside of 50. So we'll go up to about, I don't know, 60, 61. Just depends on you. 
So we'll go ahead and make sure that it's like that. And it will automatically swing those drums for you. Easy peasy. So let's get it. So the next thing we need to talk about is that soulfulness that comes from the new Jack Swing era or 90s R&B. Now there are two ways that you can go about this. The easy route, you can go to 16levels.com, link will be in the description box, and you can get the throwback 90s R&B pack. So how does that sound like? Absolutely authentic. Authentic, didn't I? Or you can do this. The modern day NPCs has a feature called Pad Performance, and you can see it right here. Make sure that you update to the recent version of the MPC firmware OS. We're going to go into progressions. We're going to make sure that we're in a category called gospel. From gospel, you'll see that we're in a A minor. Let's go up an octave. So let's start off with an F major ninth, an E seventh flat ninth, to an A minor ninth. And you'll hear the direct relationship with 90s R&B just from that default progression. And then we'll end the progression with an E minor seventh, to a G flat. Remember those patented organs? Those patented organs were from a sample in the song Groove Me. We're gonna use an actual organ sound and make it sound like a sample. So the sound that I'm using actually comes from one of the new MPC plugins, it's called Organ. So, you know, what I'm gonna do here is just go into the main screen and we're gonna use those same progressions. Now we're gonna take it to here. We're gonna find a plugin that is new on the MPC and it is in harmonics and it's called Flavor. Now we're gonna take it over here and add a sound here. And we're gonna go through some of the presets. Now we got something going here. Let's go back in the main and unsolo it. Mm. Mm. And from here, let's just go ahead and add a bass line. So I had this bass. What we're gonna do is go over here to pad performance and then go into note mode.
there's a particular element if we want to keep it in a 90s vibe we need it to sound like a 90s sampler so we need to add some type of lo-fi so what i will do is just go over here to my effects and then i will go to the crown sign which means the master effect and then i will add some type of lo-fi so what i'll do is just go into harmonics and instead of using air flavor i will use air lo-fi and from air lo-fi i can reduce the bit depth i'll do about 12 bit and then i'll reduce the sample rate and let's hear that in real time I'm gonna take it to the drums here so you can hear it in more practical. We want it to be subtle, then we're gonna add a little bit of clipping. Rectify it. Add a little bit of noise modulation. So that the, the vibes sound a little dirty. You can just do this on the drums. You don't necessarily have to do it on the whole entire groove. But you'll hear it more prominent when I bring the organs in. And the bass. 